How's it going, everybody? Chris Cards back through the mail Monday. South Main, our first of five returns today. Hope everyone out there had a fantastic weekend. We've got Index Card in here. And we've got Louis Tiant. Louis Tiant, a legendary Red Sox player. 19-year career, most of them with the Red Sox and the Indians. Had a cup of coffee with the Yankees for a couple of years. All right, there we go, guys. 1968 strikeout leaders card completed by Tiant as well as McDowell and McLean. 68 ERA leaders card started there. Can get McDowell on that. Very nice returns from Mr. Louis Tiant. Led the league in ERA in 1968, as well as shutouts with nine, 1.60 ERA, 21 and nine record in 68, nine and 20 in 69. Just a year later, led the league in home runs allowed and walks. So go figure. The, the tale of two years for Louis Tiant. Nice returns from him. He does charge ten dollars per. In fact, he sent along a little note. There is the note if you want to read it. $10 per. The man uh, wants to get paid for his time. He And, well, uh, there you go, guys. All right. Return number two comes to us from Fort... Fort Indiana. Fort Wayne, Indiana. Fort... Fort something, Indiana. And we've got David Doster. David Doster signed very nicely. Blue Sharpie. Couple collectors' choice cards, as well as a pretty sweet upper deck card. I guess they're all technically upper deck cards. Doster was a utility infielder for the Philadelphia Phillies. He got some playing time in 1996 and 1999. 96 wasn't that bad of a year for him. 99, not so much. 27th round draft pick out of Indiana State University. That's right. Proud member of the Sycamores. That is a tree, my friends, a large tree, and that is his information. If you so desire to contact Mr. Doster, he will respond in kind with autographs. Thank you very much, David. On to the third return. Portland, Oregon, our next return right in my neck of the woods. Always exciting to get a local return back. And we have Tom Lampkin. Tom Lampkin, 13 years as a pretty much a backup catcher in the big. Started off with... The Cleveland Indians went on to the Padres, Mariners, Giants, Cardinals, and the Brewers. Here we go, guys. All signed very nicely in black Sharpie. Nice return from Tom Lampkin. Now is a real estate dude in Camas, Washington. And Camas, Washington is where the Richie Riches live. Is definitely, say, the complete opposite of, say, like Kelso or Longview. So... There you have it, guys. Tom Lampkin. Pretty good return from him. There's his information. Looks like it's going to his real estate office. Pretty good return from this young man. Very excited to get this back. On to our next return. All right, my friends. Return number four comes to us from Mobile, Alabama, with my Blue Jay stamp. And that is a Blue Jay. That is not a Pinion Jay, a Scrub Jay, a Gray Jay, or a Stellar's Jay. That is a Blue Jay. Chris Cars knows his cards and his J's. There is my letter of request to Mr. Jones and me. And yes, I know my crows too. Carrion, American, hooded, large build, and counting. Beautiful. 1972 Tops card signed very nicely by Mr. Cleon Jones. 13 years in the bigs, 12 of those with the Mets. Love those in-action cards, getting them signed. There's a 75 Tops card, my probably my least favorite card to get signed because of those ugly facsimile signatures right in the middle of the card. That card is numbered, very nice and shiny and uh, new. And there's, of course, a 73 card signed. Unfortunately, the Mets ran into the buzzsaw known as the Oakland A's of the early 70s, who did not lose the World Series in that year year very nice returns from mr cleon jones special place in all of our hearts as met fans mets hall of famer 1969 world series champion beautiful signature still five dollars per card thought this was a well worthwhile request your opinion may vary but um very happy to get these back by uh, from mr cleon jones 
They look great. And let's move on to our final return of the day. And our final return comes from the most exciting place in the world, Cleveland, Ohio. Empty index card, blank. We'll reuse that on a future request. And Andy Costco, Andy Costco, we got some vintage to finish out this through the mail Monday. Andy Costco, very smart dude, almost got his law degree out of high school, but instead signed with the Tigers. Played a few years with the um, Tigers organization before being released. Thought about going and getting that law degree, but the twins came calling because Harmon Killebrew was hurt. So he said, sure, why not? Finally got the call up to the play in the bigs, and he was a utility infielder and outfielder, played everywhere, never a full-time starter. But that stint with the Twins that lasted three years, started his 10-year major league career, played for seven total teams, had a decent 1973 NLCS against the Mets. I think he went three for 10. Got the only two hits against John Matlack in his gem that he threw. Of course, as I mentioned earlier, the Mets would go on to lose to the A's in that World Series. In fact, uh, yeah, that Cleon Jones card I had. I think Gene Tennant is a uh, tennis tennis is on that card as well. So maybe try to get that dual sign. I think I was going for that with some of those action cards. So could have been uh, Fossey behind the plate in that card photo. Tennis might have been playing first base. Either way, there you go, guys. Enjoy the rest of your week. Hope everyone enjoyed this week's Through the Mail Monday. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. It's right there in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. Just give it a little click. Would really appreciate having you on board the Through the Mail Monday train. Put out these videos every single week. Love doing them. Love having you guys check them out. So hit that subscribe button if it's something you would enjoy following from here on out. And of course... Let me know what you thought of these returns down below in the comments and like the video that helps with the algorithm and hopefully will suggest uh, my video to more people so they can watch it. And of course, that kind of stuff us YouTube creators love and get excited over. So that'd be sweet. Take you two seconds to do it. In fact, less than two seconds. In fact, if you want to time me and put down below how actually long it took, I'm sure it's for fractions of seconds. So you'll need a fast stopwatch. I'm sure your phone can do it. Perhaps I'm not sure. Count down to three and just have your finger over the mouse. I mean, maybe put the cursor somewhere in a random part of the screen. or And that's if you're on a desktop like I am. I use a desktop because I'm 42 years old and I love desktops. But if you're using like a tablet or something or your phone, you just touch your touch it with your finger. It's super easy. It'd be pretty sweet. And um, that's it. Hell of a return this week. A little bit of vintage. Uh, some guys from the 90s I remember watching play like Tom Lampkin. I remember him for the Cardinals. Uh, he only had a couple years with the Cardinals. He actually had more. I think he had four years with the Padres. So for whatever reason, I remember him as a Cardinal. Strikeout leader card. Super awesome. Put that on my um, Instagram page last night. So I do post photos of my return on Instagram if you guys want to follow me on there. It's Chris Cards 86 And I try to post stuff. I'm trying to post more stuff, you know. I post once a week, maybe once every two weeks. So I'll try to do it more often every couple days or so. But anywho, that's all I got for you guys. Thanks for sticking around. Let me ramble a little bit. And supposed to be a warm week here in Oregon after a kind of a rainy, nasty week here in Oregon. So uh, hopefully um, summer is coming soon because, uh, you know, we get a lot of rain here out in the Pacific Northwest. This is our two slash three months of uh, f fun in the sun so i hope it doesn't get shortened by having a long spring so all right guys i guess with that note i will sign off thanks guys for watching talk to you guys again later on have a good week see ya